I have found groups to be extremely useful in Phaser. Consider this. I've got this monster image on the stage. All I've done is load in the image and created a monster out of that and put it up in the left-hand top corner. So say that I wanted to put some text on there too. Maybe just a label. Game add text. And I can use the monster's height and width to be able to place that text. Monster width divided by 2 and monster height. That would put it right at the bottom of the monster. And I'll just put the label of monster. And let me fill it in with white, otherwise you won't be able to see it because text by default is black on phaser. There. Now, the reason it's not aligned in the center of the monster is because the anchor for this text is at 0, 0. So if I put it at 0.5, we can just do a quick text anchor set. 0.5.5. There, it's right in the center. Now, I know some of you are wondering why did I use the monster's height and width rather than just knowing how big the monster is. If I know it's 100 pixels, why don't I just set the text at 100 and why can't I just back it up until it's centered? I could, but what if I want to change the monster's size? Say that I set the scale at half. By doing it this way, by going off the measurement of the monster, it will always be in the correct place. Let's say I want to move the monster across the screen. I can use a tween to do that. And I'm going to say monster. And let's put it the Y down to 200, and we'll do the X to 300. There. Now, as I said, this is about groups. So how do groups come into this? Well, we can just simply add a group to be able to keep the text and the monster together. Var monster group equals game add group. And that's all you have to do to add a group to phaser. Game add group. And then monster group add monster. And monster group add text. And then instead of tweening the monster, we will tween the group. Wonderful, isn't it? That's very useful, groups in Phaser. And that's just the beginning, because groups can be very powerful in Phaser. But that's the basics of it. Thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful.